The year 2015 saw a record 2,508 mountaineering accidents in Japan, a grim product, declared the authorities, of ever larger numbers of people ascending to great heights without checking the weather. With the UK referendum on Europe looming, something similar is happening in currency markets. Trading floors everywhere are girding themselves for volatility around the referendum result, especially if the result is for leave. Sterling moves can be banked upon to be explosive in that scenario, spreading tumult across the G10 currency basket. But it may ultimately be the yen and any resulting act of market intervention by Tokyo to weaken its currency that detonates the biggest blast. The language of manipulation is already in the air and traders are dusting off their Ministry of Finance intervention lexicons on the assumption that a leave vote in the UK will force Japan to act. The problem is that Japan has inadvertently built up a potentially massive amplifier for big moves in the yen at around these current levels. Despite rising claims to the contrary, Abenomics has not been a complete failure. The past three years of yen weakness have helped corporate Japan accumulate an all-time record stash of overseas earnings retained in other currencies. Analysts put the combined hoard at about 50 trillion yen, add that to the 20 trillion yen of foreign stock investments built by Japanese investors in the 20 months up to March 31st this year, and you effectively have an impressively mountainous short yen position. This is where the dangerous weather conditions come in. For the moment, that huge position is not making an equivalently huge impact on markets. The yen has been climbing rapidly against the dollar and sterling, but not so quickly that it has forced Japanese corporates to unwind in a gush. Brexit could change that in the space of a few hours, and a once manageable mountain suddenly becomes very threatening. The yen would surge against sterling, but could move even more violently higher against the dollar as global safe haven trades kick in. A break above 100 yen against the dollar is plausible, say dealers, and could put intolerable pressure on corporate Japan to repatriate at exactly the point that markets least wanted yen strength to be exaggerated. Given the close correlation between the yen and the equity market, the Japanese authorities may have little choice but to intervene and sell the yen for the first time since the 2011 Tohoku earthquake.